Hello. This is you standing on the floor. That's the weight and that's the normal contact force. Are these two forces action and reaction pair? Are these two forces action and reaction pair? This is me and this is you. According to Newton's third law, if I'm if I'm exerting a rightward force on you, then you must be exerting a leftward force on me. These two forces are equal in magnitude but opposite in direction. Now notice that an action and reaction pair always act on different bodies. So this force here is acting on you, whereas this force is acting on me. So coming back to this situation, there's a normal contact force here, which is the floor pushing you up the floor pushing you up. So the reaction force to this should be you pushing the floor down. What about the weight? This is the gravitational pull of the earth on you. So the earth pulls you down. So the reaction force to this must be you pulling the earth up. That's right. You are pulling the earth up. These two forces are the mutual gravitational pull between the two forces, which is your mass and the Earth's mass. What we have here, the normal contact force and the weight, they act on you, the same body. So straight away, we can tell that these two are not an action-reaction pair. Because these are the only two forces acting on you, and because you are at rest, so these two forces must be equal in magnitude but opposite in direction so that the net force is zero. So these two forces are equal but opposite only by circumstances. Whereas a true action and reaction pair are always equal but opposite no matter what. That's because an action and reaction pair is the mutual exchange of forces between two bodies. For example, these two is the mutual gravitational pull between the Earth's mass and your mass. And these two forces here is the mutual electrostatic repulsion between the molecules of your feet and the molecules of the floor. Get it? <laughs>